one, this is the Mad Salvi letting you know that unless things are proven with Twitter posts and stuff like that and actual, have actual proof behind it, treat everything in this thing as a theory. I will mark try to mark certain things as news and theory and everything like that to kind of let you guys understand, but also, you know, use a critical mind. And I hope you do enjoy. Hello, everyone. Hope you're doing well today. We are going to be talking about Nidhi Sanji as always. Uh, this is OMG, guys, Nidhi Sanji about Kotsuka and Petra. I've heard people talk about Kotsuka because she backstabbed Sayu in the back and also Mel supposedly as well. That is a rumor so far, but a lot of people believe it. And cause Mel to graduate. The other half are saying that they're proud she, she graduates. Petra, on the other hand, a quarter of the people don't like her because apparently she bragged to her oh, she was in 3D, uh, while uh, more than half of the people think she's generally a nice person. So I don't know about Petra. I don't know about her. A lot of people also don't like the fact that she has had uh, Tazumi around. But here's a little bit of, uh, I guess, a meme that they created where it's, you know, Nidhi Sanji, Ian will always be together, I guess is what, what it was. And they're cutting it in half. Um, basically, all these people who left, all these people who are, I guess, I don't know, not good ones. And here are the ones that are around. And um, yeah, pretty much just, I guess, giving kind of a bit of shade to the person. This is a post uh, criticizing uh, Nidhi Sanji, of course. Worst kind of parasites, darkest opportunities, darkest dungeon too. Uh, the opportunists, yes. Nidhi Sanji knew full well that they were hiring uh, fresh out of university or inexperienced people with zero knowledge in the legal stuff. Did warn, didn't warn the livers before signing. A lot of places actually don't warn you before signing, but still that's kind of a bad one is when uh, other companies like Vishojo actually help you out. Thank God Kamiyoshi joined Vishojo after she graduated as PKMA from VOMS. Uh, Nidhi Sanji working environment is hell specifically for female livers. It's kind of like not as bad as Wachter. But it's pretty bad. Why does Michi still blindly sign a working contract without looking? I don't know. Maybe she trusts her friends in that company. Uh, wasn't using high schools was a bit misleading. It is basically fresh out of university. Fresh 18-year-olds. Fresh people doing uh, the content and not understanding how things can get affected by uh, bad contracts. Like what you hear what Pikmin is saying. I remember, I remember when I made a contract with V Shoujo. And I was like, okay, I'm going to sign it and send it to you. And they were like, Hanya? Make sure you get a lawyer to read all the contracts. It's like, I get a lawyer? And they're like, of course you do like that. And I was like, what? I, I need a lawyer? <laughs> of course you do, Hanya. Of course you do. I didn't know about it. I didn't know about it. So thank you, Visho, just for telling me that. They're like, yes, you do. <laughs> they're like, really? Yeah. Well, I didn't know that. I never, I never asked that. <laughs> it's good that Visho like, just does that. Wait, Mochi did too. Mochi too. Oh, we're same. We're same. I, I was like that too, Mochi. I was like that too. <laughs> Man, good on them. Yeah, thank you so much. Thank you so, so, so much, Visho Josan, for telling me to get a lawyer because I did not know about it. I, do, I didn't know it's about it. It's always important. It's very <laughs> they important. They rejected lawyer. the application until she got the lawyer. Wait, me too. Me too. Me too. They were like, make sure you get a lawyer and read all the stuff and you discuss with all your lawyer. The agreement is a uh, favor to you. And if anything you want to change it, just tell us. We're always welcome. Like that. And I was like, <gasps> That's all I have to do? <laughs> nah, yeah, and I like, wait! Uh, I'm making a contract with you and you're all telling me this? Thank you! <laughs> That's what they're supposed to do. If I'm not mistaken, Face Connect does the same thing. Face Connect will actually sit there and sometimes bring a lawyer and tell you, this is not good, this is whatever, this is that, you know, that type of thing. Or they will get you legal aid and you choose your own lawyer type of thing. I believe Face Connect does the same thing with their girls. Uh, I don't think there was a chance that she would join DG anyways. My take on things is that she wanted to do something more. Like, uh, Henya would not have joined Nidhi Sanji, more than likely, because she wanted to do 3D. She wanted to do a concert. Voms did not have the means to do that for her. They didn't have the money to do that for her. So she moved on. Voms wasn't a bad thing for her. She didn't leave on bad terms. It was just that there she was way more um, enthusiastic about doing extra things, way more energetic about that than what Voms was able to provide her with. So nothing negative on bombs. What Ian members joined when they were still high schoolers is response to ignorant about workplace practices, but maybe not high schoolers. Closest would have probably been Kyo. He joined when he was 19. He was the youngest NGN member. And then he was went into university. Didn't Ver go to last school? Um, I guess they did as well. Yeah, well, that's interesting. Let's be honest, warning them would have been counterproductive to begin with for the same reason they definitely seem to actively target people fresh out of high school or otherwise ignorant. Uh, to sign when hiring because if you're wise enough, you're not going to sign that contract. If you're wise enough, you're going to want them to have it changed. Like, I would never sign that contract knowing now what goes on in there. Re actually reading through all of it, I would never sign that contract. There's too many things that are just bad on that contract. It doesn't work out for anybody. Mochi at least read every single part of her contract, the best understanding. I'm thinking Henya was uh, used to the great good vibes of VOMS and just looked over her contract to figure it was the same and signed. 
I doubt she would have gone to Niji. Yeah, a lot of people are saying she, they doubt she would have gone to Niji. More than likely, she would not have. Question for you guys, a question that was brought up here. Do you guys still watch any Niji Sanji livers? It isn't to condemn whoever says yes, obviously. I ask because you want to know the reason why people still watch current Niji and talents. Some people, I mean, I might be for you, maybe not for you. But some people watch it because they had Oshis before all this stuff happened. The Oshis are a very personal thing for them. They, you know, got them out of a dark place. They keep them happy, that kind of thing. They want to root for somebody. So, of course, some people are still going to go. But a lot of people who are on Kurosanji, which is already an anti-subreddit, pretty much, um, is going, they're probably a lot going to say no. Not even their clippers. Uh, removed all Niji-related channels and clicked do not recommend channel to all their stuff. This person said same. Stop watching Alira, Rosemi, Petra once the S show started this year. Does I watch graduated or terminated? Just watch any can't watch anyone in Niji anymore. And that is a uh, sentiment you're gonna hear a lot of. Rosemary and her Patrick graduates turn indie. I'll be there day one. I'll watch Alira again if she graduates and sometime after she publicly apologizes to Doki or says I'm sorry about the things that happened or remorseful about things that happened in her previous job. Probably watch her at that point. A lot of people I think will. Loved her playthroughs of games, but the black after the black stream, a lot of people are like, nope. Illyria was the one Oshi besides Selen. Her streams were so comfy, but what she did was so bad, I just can't see myself watching her again. I already shifted entirely to indies. I wouldn't check Rosemir occasionally. The black stream didn't happen. Uh, yeah, basically a lot of people, the black stream destroyed it for them. Makes me wonder if contracts are different for each liver. I it, I think they tailor it per liver, I think. If they're just a uh, cookie cutter. I know a lot of things are cookie cutter, but you can always add to the cookie cutter side to maybe tailor it. But seeing as though they're lazy, maybe not. It could very well be not. A lot of people stopped like this right here. I saw Puma crying because she missed out on a once in a lifetime opportunity. It was the last straw. Unsubscribe to all Niji Livers then and there. I was never really subscribed to any big Niji Livers. I think I watched a couple of them through uh, clips. I don't really watch them anymore because of all the stuff that's been happening, personally. And then I uh, watched Millie's Uki's ASMR, but that didn't last long because the extermination came shortly after. I used to feel sad. I couldn't bring myself to see the fun clips anymore. Yeah, a lot of people are feeling this. Basically, uh, you, can't watch, you can't have fun with them anymore, but uh, it's up to you whether you want to watch them or not, whether you want to enjoy them or not. It's all up to you, and it shouldn't be anything uh, that anyone, especially not me, is going to judge you for. I wouldn't judge anybody for that. An ex Niji talent, first wave Takarajiman, is doing an endless singing donathon in less than an hour. Give him support. That was 15 hours ago, so it's already done. Um, and this is the person here, Xanders. Xander is his new, new uh, persona. So remember, if you ever go to their streams, call them by their new persona. Don't call them by their old stuff. You're going to be saying things like, oh, I'm happy I found you, that type of thing. But don't go and, you know, talk about their old life. He used to be Takarajiman. Uh, hit up uh, Xander Walrich. Uh, he did not stop karaoke plus silly shenanigans in between. Yeah, I'm fairly sure he was Xander. Uh, and uh, let's see, X G I D and the singing new instantly would be Taka. He likes singing streams. Most of them become indie, if I remember correctly. Three of them join agencies. I uh, thank you so much for the info. I didn't know it became an indie. Was wondering why the algorithm put it in my feed. To be fair, nine times out of ten, when it happens, it's the reason exactly. But sometimes I don't have the time to click and make sure. So for everyone who didn't know, there you go. Now you have the information. Again, we're continuing with uh, the sale of the tickets as is shown here. Um, they are after a day. The first one is when it started after a day it still isn't either the center is almost always what sells out the very back is usually where they do where they have their their uh sound check stuff their sound board stuff um and in the front is all sold out of course but the center is where it's sold out more usually anime expo on in general they sell out the first day the first day that there's anything that shows up they usually sell out because people are very excited about concerts and it usually sells out. In this case, they haven't. Um, uh, they said expect there will eventually be announced a raffle for a thousand spots of free tickets, more than likely just so they can fluff up the numbers. Grossly overestimate on second thought since booking such a venue requires months before actual event. Good chance that it was planned and booked before Selene's termination. So they expected a full sellout crowd. But Selene's termination, things that came out with Sayu, things that came out with Kotoka, the Alira Black screen stream, a lot of people uh, got affected by that, more than likely. Typical break-even point is around 2K, 50% of 4K, and tickets are $50 a pop. And then it's 10K to rent the venue, 20 cases of doing two shows. Estimating them have to be, have to have sold at least 350 tickets per show, so 700 bring in 3,500. Uh, considering it's powered by Anime Expo, I will assume AX is footing half the bill, which is why I'm thinking they are not very happy right now. 
They may cancel it. They may just go forward with it, but they may not get Nidhi Sandhi to ever do this again. Because if they lose money, Anime Expo is not out there to lose money. So if they lose money, this is going to be very bad for Anime Expo and they're not going to be happy. If it remains like this, it'll be canceled in a month. These 50% save face and break even. The current amount is less than 20%, but we got two months to see. They may advertise way more and they may get their whales to do it. You know, you never know. So it's right here. Decided to figure out how many tickets Nidhi was expecting and I came to 4,000. Since the top middle section wasn't filled, the ticket section uh, selection, and I doubt people chose the seats with so many closer ones available. It's 4,000 per show. They were expecting 8K. <clears throat> Didn't they struggle to get 8K viewers for the Mario Kart collab? That's the thing. That's the venue coalition. The booth is up here. The mixing area, like I said, is back here usually. All these areas, the, the, the X19 and all these were not sold, not going to be sold. So the X13, X12, those type of places being sold. So they're going to have to sell a lot of tickets for all this stuff. It is insane the amount of stuff they're going to have to sell. Uh, Connect the World concert sold out fast. They sold out within their pre-sale period. I remember that because I tried to get tickets for it. And yeah, it sold out really fast. So the fact that they're not selling out is very bad news for them. And we begin to with some memes. Some memes here. They finally found a new place to fight on. First, it was V Rhapsody. Then it is here. It has been in many places. They have fought in many places because Nidhi Sanji has given them more than enough space to play and to fight wherever they want to. The green dots are available seats. Yep. Oh my goodness. Yes. The poor people in the section that are right so riding solo would be hilarious if they bought a body pillow or giant plushie to watch a show with them. May as well have a sense of humor about it. Yeah, it'd be great. It'd be great if they do that. Uh, with all three stages combined, Nidhi Sanji successfully sold about a thousand seats out of 12,000 possible seats, just a ratio below 10%. Individually, an average 350 seats were successfully sold out of 4,000 seats. Very negligible indeed. Reminder, no refunds. Yes, a lot of these places have no refunds. I'm not sure if Anime Expo has no refunds, but I know a lot of these other places do. But yeah, it has become a meme now. Another thing about a meme is uh, what used to be busting subreddit is now a ghost town. I am not going to have this actually be, you know, playing everything. I'm guessing this is something from uh, High Fleet OST. I, my guess is it's a sad OST. Can't play it because of copyright reasons, unfortunately. 50,000 people used to live here, and they still left up the Uki R post. Purge 1, hey look, Spook, uh, Spook Torb's reminders. Hey look, Sexy Selene. Why does Uki hate white people? That whole thing basically here. Uh, they left it here. So it's still there. It's still there, which is interesting. But, uh, of course, they're trying to make it seem kind of um, whatever. I don't know. Like, if it's nothing. And feels good, man. Nidhi Sanji's falling apart. Meanwhile, Hollow Life has a new anime. Uh, yeah. Nidhi Sanji had an anime, and they let it go. So, it's just, it. they are making their own memes here. There's Luna, so it's even better. Yes, another thing. Another little, little wonderful tidbit. Luna used to be Morudu. Now, she's Luna. She's gotten bigger and stronger than she ever could have under Nidhi Sanji. So, here we go. Just cover accidentally making Nidhi look bad again. And even though this gets official streaming platforms, I'm still going to... Yeah, this person's not going to watch it on the official platforms. Find it crazy that apparently going to an actual anime, uh, it's probably going to be on Crunchyroll. They've come a long way from simple background cameos and surprise appearances to an actual anime. Yes, they've always done cameos as Hololive likes doing that for their people. But yeah, Nidhi Sanji has become a meme at this point. We're moving on to a little bit of Hololive slash cover stuff. And what we're doing here is we are covering the meet and greet the meet super karaoke party that they did the one that was done in taipei taiwan they're not the perfect company call alive is not a perfect company never gonna say that cover isn't either refuses it but they refused to call it a concert but they they made it a concert style with the big venue but they called it a karaoke party and because it was called the karaoke party people knew what to expect even then they still had some people that did 3ds but it was a a, a screen 3D type of thing, you know? Uh, making a throwback venue with Nidhi Sanji didn't have any pretty much silent with their VR Rhapsody. NDF would want to say it's VR Rhapsody that should be doing it. Yeah, no, Nidhi Sanji could easily make their own throwback video. Cover big brain with this video alone. We can now use it as proof against NDF. It's basically a big throwback video that they're doing. You have people like this, the screenshot here, of people being very happy. You know, it just, it's, it sums up the mood of the crowd nicely. They were very excited. They were very glad that they got to see their Oshis, period. In a karaoke party specifically, marked as a karaoke party. Perfect business is impossible. People management is tireless problems and sometimes business decisions need to, de need to be made depending on trial and error. Best basic things company can do are genuine and honest, which any color even can't. And that's the thing. Let's take a look at the video itself. The whole setup they're doing, you know, the, the, the lighting, everything so they're doing a, a full video people being excited people with their oshis people being 
that's good. And they actually made a video of the whole situation. Cosplayers, people coming in for Bay, people that are coming in for all the Oshis, Kobo, you know, the lines. They actually went through the effort of doing all of this stuff. They stamp people coming in. People get to do their, their art. People get to put their, their, their airplanes. Look at that. Look how full it is. They have pen lights specifically with the colors. People are excited. Look at that. The 3D that I mentioned before. And that's the thing. Imagine doing a throwback video like this. Imagine if Nidhi Sanji cared enough to do a throwback video like this. That would be great. I love that video. It, it showed the enthusiasm. It showed the crowds. It showed the fans. It gave them something to maybe, you know, um, save and have for posterity. It's good when they do that. That means they care enough. That is all for right now. Of course, comment, like, and subscribe down below. Thank you for being here. Of course, I love having the conversations with you guys. I love having these things with you guys. And I do appreciate it whenever you guys do comment. Take a look at my description for my socials. There's a Discord. There's Twitter. There's other places that you can check me out. Twitch, etc. And also check on your screen right now because there might be a video that you might enjoy. Thank you.